So we've just come across quite a nice shoal of fish here sitting in nine foot of water so I'm going to pick a few shallow working lures and try and cast and cover all this area here behind the boat. Looks quite promising so we'll throw some lures and we we'll see if we can get a few fish. Into our first fish of the day in Savage Gear Hard Eel. Been fishing probably 20 minutes to start with, but nice fish. Nice to get the first fish of the session. Just really slowly working that lower back towards the boat. Really solid hit. First fish of the session on the hard eel. As I said, we said we came across that nice shoal of fish earlier. We said we'd walk around that area and we've been fishing probably 15, 20 minutes or so. And we've got a really nice force fish of the day. Absolutely beautiful pike. So hard eel, brilliant slow moving tail. Perfect for pike fishing in winter. Beautiful fish. We're gonna get this fish back and see if we can get another one. Excellent start to the morning, so keep this up, see if we can get a few more. Brilliant. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that hit? No. Did you not see it? So we're just after losing a the fish there again on the Savage Gear Hard Eel. Seems to be working an absolute treat here in this shallow water. So, working these baits really, really slow, covering plenty of water. So, we're going to stick at it for another while and see if we can pick up a few more. Hi, Darren here from Team Savage Gear. If we get off to a brilliant start, we had a lovely fish early on in the morning, and we're going to keep it going for the rest of the day on tail baits, covering lots of areas, lots of shallow areas, and really just trying to find active fish. We don't want to fish drop offs waiting for inactive fish to become active. So that's why the plan is today. We're going to use the drogue. We're going to do lots of drifting across key areas and cover as much areas as we can. Right. Oh, I just lost him. Another fish on the hard eel. We just lost him. Did you see it? Oh, that's a big double. Did you see him? One fish so far this morning. We've had another three hits on the hard eel. Fish just don't really seem fully tuned in. They're not very aggressive this morning. We 
We've just changed location at the moment, got a wee bit slower rear fishing earlier, so we've just came to a different part of the lake. And we're going to, once again, we're going to slowly drift and cover as much area as we can. Still working them lures really slow because it is winter time after all. So what we have here is a drog or a drift sock, whichever you prefer to call it. We're going to put this out the back of the boat and it's going to really slow down our drift. So we're able to do control drifts across key areas of the lakes. So we're going to cover drop offs, shallow areas and structure. So we're going to cover them nice and slow using the drogue and hopefully pick up a few more fish so we'll see how we get on and we'll come back to you if we get any action. Okay guys, so we're just after covering a new area close to a drop off. I switched over to the 25 centimeter borbit and got a hit probably within a dozen casts or so. I don't think it's a very big fish, but nonetheless, it's another fish on a tail bait. Another nice fish, once again, on the tail bait. Uh, not the biggest fish, but we just came slowly drifting close to steep drop off. And as we expected, we found this nice guy sitting on top of the drop off. Put up quite a good fight towards the edge of the boat. Tail baits seem to be doing the trick during winter. Obviously that tear, the slow drifting across these, key areas of steep drop-offs and shallow ledges has worked. So we're just going to repeat the process again. We're going to go back upwind, throw out the drogue again, and slow drift across all these areas and hopefully see if we can pick up another fish just like that. So we'll keep going with the tail bits. They seem to be working. So we'll just keep grinding it out and grinding it out. It's still early in the day. We have a few fish on the boat, a few fish lost. So we'll keep going at it. Slow drifting across the shallow areas, um, managing just to pick up a few more small jacks. Not big by any stretch of the imagination, but catching fish on lures in winter always challenging. But if you cover the right areas, definitely you'll be able to pick up some fish. Our plan for today is really, really starting to pay off now at this point. Um, we've done basically the same thing all day. We've continued searching, and yet and all, we've got another fine fish on the boat. Just let this guy go. So hopefully guys, you've enjoyed insight to the way I approach my winter lure fishing and we will see you again in another video sometime soon.